What's up guys, in today's video we are going to be uh, installing UiPath Studio onto your machine and then we are going to be building our first bot. So we're going to build a very simple bot, it's just going to open our notepad on our PC and then going to type in the text I am a robot and then we are going to run that bot. Right, so let's uh, start off by installing your iPad Studio. So you can just open up your browser and you can go to the URL cloud.uipath.com. For you, when, when you um, get here, there'll be a place where you can sign in. So you can either sign in with an email address or with Google or whatnot. So I'm just going to sign in with Google. So I already have an account. In your case, you'll just need to create an account and then it'll take you to this page over here. Right, then you want to look around on your screen over here. Um, there's a button which says download studio. All right, um, it's on the right hand side. Sometimes it's at the top here. Sometimes it might be in one of these tabs on the side. Um, so you just, you'll just need to look around for it because sometimes this user interface changes. Um, so we can just click download studio. All right, and um, then it'll download uh, a file, the installation file. It says UiPath studio community .msi. So that's what you want to download. So um, I'm just going to wait for this to finish downloading. Great, so it has finished downloading, so we can just simply click this installation file. So you can either um, use the quick uh, installation or a custom uh, if you are an advanced user, all right? But for the purposes of this video, we'll just go with a quick installation. Make sure you click accept the terms and click install. Now we can just wait while the product installs onto your machine. Right, so here we are, completed the UiPath setup, start building automations and managing your robot workforce, blah, blah, blah. Cool, so I'm just gonna say launch UiPath Studio and it will then open. Here we are, so we'll get this little pop-up to sign in. So you can just sign in with this default service URL, but best practice is to rather use your own service URL. So you can get that here in your cloud console um, here on your home tab, you'll see there are the orchestrator services and there will be a default service um, which you can click on. So make sure you click on that, all right? And that will open what is called UiPath Orchestrator, which is a cloud management console to basically manage and deploy um, all your bots. So you can basically um, manage your bots. You can schedule them from here to run at certain times. You can view the logs of the bots that run, etc. All right, so now that we're here, um, you can just double click the URL and copy from the protocol HTTPS all the way till um, the end of orchestrator underscore forward slash. All right, so you can exclude all that, right? And you can just copy that part. Uh, I'm supposed to copy, but it's fine. And then you can come here and paste in the service URL, just like that and click sign in. Right, it'll bring up this little pop-up. You just want to click open UI path when that happens. And then there we are. Over here, you'll be able to choose a pro profile. So there are two different um, types of UI path. There's UI path Studio and UI path Studio X. So UI path Studio is used for developers and Studio X is more for business users where there's um, no coding. So with UI path Studio, you can add custom code to build more advanced and versatile bots. Whereas with UI path Studio, you're kind of limited with the functionality because you can't add custom code. Um, just for reference, the code that you use in UI path is either um, C Sharp or Visual Basic. Dot net. All right, so I'm going to click UiPath Studio. That's the one we're going to download. All right, and now it's going to uh, open up. All right, so we can start off by clicking this process button to start a new project. All right, and then our name, we're going to say my first bot. You can call this whatever you like. Um, or let's say my first RPA bot. Cool, and then um, you can give it a description. So I'll just say type text into notepad and then the location. This is just the folder you want to save it on your PC. 
um, compatibility, I'm just going to leave this to the default, which is Windows Legacy. And then you choose the programming language that you want to use within your path, either Visual Basic or C Sharp. So I'll keep mine to VB, then click Create. This is the IDE where you build your bots. All right, so I'm going to click this button, which says Open Main Workflow. All right. So this is basically um, the main canvas where you drag and drop all your different activities and you build your bot. So let's start off by in this activities panel over here, um, searching for our open application application activity. So here it is. So this activity is going to open up our notepad file. So I'm going to drag this in. So I'm just simply clicking with my mouse button and dragging it over this little plus button and letting go. And you'll see it then drags in this sequence activity, which is basically just like a container, right? And then within that, we have our open application activity. And on the right hand side, you can see when we click on it, it shows this properties panel where we can define different properties for this open application um, activity. So we want to basically indicate the window um, which we wanted to open. So we can simply just come search for our notepad uh, activity or application. So I'm going to open that up. So here's notepad, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back to your path and I'm going to click indicate window on screen, right? And then now you can see um, when I hover over the notepad file, you see it, it becomes blue. So I'm clicking the notepad. And then you can see now it has um, even added a little screenshot just for visual purposes for the developer so, so you know what this activity is referencing. In this case, it's the notepad file. So now if we close this, um, if we close this notepad file and we run this bot, it should then open up our a blank notepad file. So I'm going to click this um, run button over here. Right, and you can see now it opened our notepad file. There it is. Great, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to use a type into. So I'm just gonna uh, click this X to clear that search and I'm gonna search for the type into activity. Then I'm going to drag in this type into into this do sequence over here. So what this is basically doing is it's opening an application and within this application, we are gonna do something. And what are we gonna do? We are going to type into um, the notepad file. So over here, I'm going to click indicate elements inside window. So I'll click that. And then you can see here when I'm hovering over this portion um, where you type into, it is now blue. So make sure you, you don't click on that element or one of these buttons or the entire notepad. Make sure you're clicking on the area which you type into. So I'll click that. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to type, uh, I am a bot. Right, so now that is going to type, I'm a bot. So now you can even rename this. So instead of saying type into editable text, we can rename this to type into notepad, for instance. And then instead of calling that open application, we can give it another name, let's say open, um, open notepad application, just like that. So that's just um, easier to read. Um, it's just best practice when developing a bot just to rename your activities to what makes most sense. Cool. So now we have it. I'm just going to close our notepad file and then we are going to now run this. There you go. And if you caught that, you would have see, seen that it opened up a notepad and it typed in the text, I am a bot. Great. So if you followed along, that means you have um, completed building your first bot. Um, so congratulations for that. That's awesome. Um, and there's a lot more to learn with UiPath. But if you're interested in learning more about UiPath and going from beginner to advanced with RPA, um, you can check out my advanced training, which is the complete RPA bootcamp, which will take you from beginner to advanced with UiPath and ultimately become an RPA developer. So if you'd like to learn more about that, you can go check out the link in my bio, right? It'll take you to this URL, completerpabootcamp.com forward slash RPA training. All right, and you can simply register here for a web class for a free online training to basically learn more about 
UI path and RPA. So this is your step-by-step -step training to go from beginner to pro with RPA, robotic process automation in 2021. Learn how to become an RPA developer the easy way. If you are interested in learning your path, I highly recommend that you check out this training. It's completely free and it's full of value and I promise you it will be worth your time. So you can simply just click this button and you can register for it and then watch the RPA training. So the link is in the bio, you can check it out there. And if this video is helpful, please do subscribe to my channel and like this video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching and check you on the next video.